Guys, it just got real. What is up guys, NPS Reefer here back at it with another video. Today's video, we're heading to Divine Aquatic Supply in Elkhart, Indiana, off of old US 33. Um, and we're getting an orange frogfish. I've had frogfish in the past, kept two different species. Uh, got the black and then the painted frogfish. And today we're getting an orange frogfish. And it's been a little bit since I've had a frogfish, so it's kind of kind of learning a few new things and things I should do different with this guy. Um, right now we just have a 10 gallon. And that is temporarily. Obviously, they cannot live their lifespan in a 10 gallon. Uh, I'd recommend a minimum tank of 20 gallons for their whole lifespan. Uh, but a 10 gallon will do for now as long as they keep up on water changes, etc. So, other than that, we're going to go ahead and get on the road. We are at the shop. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to give you guys a quick look around in the shop and throw a quick montage or something. And then we'll get to looking at the frogfish. Temporary, I'm going to the tank, man. I need to clean the front of that glass. It's filthy. Um, and then, as you can see, I got a little damsel in there right now. That's probably going to be his food for the next couple days, and then I'll eventually figure out what I need to do next. Really cool fish. I mean, it almost looks like he has that coralline algae on it, but that's just his disguise and where he was collected in the wild. That's just kind of, they just adapt to their environment. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes, and we'll release him into the tank. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get in the tank here. Part in the glass doesn't even clean, but the angler is in the tank. Very gorgeous fish. And eventually, I'm guessing he's either going to kind of turn the color of the sponge or kind of get some purple striping on him with these MPS gorgs over here. Um, I mean, they really, like I said, they kind of literally adapt to their environment. Obviously, you can tell this guy came. There's a bunch of yellow, or not yellow, purple kind of coral and like algae and possibly like near a sponge or something. Because like I said, they literally kind of pick a spot in the ocean and they pretty much adapt like that sponge or the coral or whatnot. But yeah, look at that guy. That guy is gorgeous. So I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of hoping he turns the color of this sponge right here. That'd be really cool. It's just such a gorgeous fish. And yes, there is a damsel in there for him to eat, sadly, but surely. I do got to eat something. Um, I'm planning on hoping to get him on silver sides here soon. Because obviously, if you feed live foods, damsels do get expensive. So, other than that, the carrot aquariums, like I said earlier, are kind of like a 20 gallon uh, minimum. Like I said, this is only temporary right now. Uh, this will do right now. I just got to keep up on water changes, etc. And he is not very big right now. And I will obviously, like I said, keep up on water changes and make sure the water quality is good for him. You got to test it regularly. And you got to keep him well fed to keep him healthy. So, other than that, I think that's about it. Tom the Frogfish is in his new and current tone. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it as well as I did. I'm so excited that I finally have another frogfish and hopefully this guy does extremely well for me because I ain't gonna care for him very well. So now, I mean, I got two predator fish in the room. I think I'm gonna kind of take a break from buying much fish or anything or for the time being and kind of just work on what I have and grow it out and everything and see how that goes. 
I got a bunch of products that we have to review on the channel as well. So we're going to kind of steer away from buying a bunch of new things. And I do have school starting up here soon, which is a bummer. Um, and obviously we got COVID, so it's going to be a little different than what I'm used to. But I will keep up on the videos, so you guys stay tuned for every Friday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals. We'll see ya.